My name is Marlo Palat and I am an ecological restoration specialist with Parks Canada. Our job generally is to improve the ecological integrity or just basically how ecosystems work. Salt marshes are quite an important environment for birds, for fish, for a number of different species, but also it's an important environment for storing carbon. Plants do something called photosynthesis. Why that's important to us is that when it takes in this carbon, it's taking it in from the atmosphere. And in our world, because we're burning a lot of fossil fuels, clearing a lot of land, doing a lot of things, carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere, and subsequently so are global temperatures. The salt marshes and plants uptake that carbon, and then as the roots die or their leaves fall off, that carbon then is stored in the soils and sediment underneath the plants. This can go on for thousands of years, and provides a nice storage area for carbon. We call it blue carbon to differentiate it from carbon in terrestrial landscapes. So most of the, the research in carbon storage revolved around forest management. We understand it because we've been managing forests for a long time. We don't understand near as much on the coastal and marine ecosystems. Parks Canada actually has been the federal lead on understanding blue carbon in our coastal systems over the last few years. Salt marshes are the, the most important areas for storing carbon in Canada. Per unit area, they're very effective at storing carbon. We're just trying to understand how much eelgrass and salt marshes are on our coast. And we want to make sure that those plants can keep breathing in that carbon and keep storing it in the ground to help reduce the amount of that gas that goes in the air and makes the planet warmer.